a new free AI video generator called Luma Dream Machine just launched. But you might be wondering, is it better than Sora? Is it better than Runway ML, Pika, or Hyper? Well, I'm gonna give you my first impressions as well as comparing it to all my favorite free AI video generators with the same prompt to answer the question, is this new free AI video generator better than the paid ones? So we're now on the homepage of Dream Machine. And as you can see, the generations that we get are Sora-like quality. I'll show you some examples later. But it says here that Dream Machine is an AI model that makes high quality, realistic videos fast from text and images. Iterate at the speed of thought. Dream Machine is an incredibly fast video generator, 120 frames in 120 seconds. That's pretty impressive. Some examples here of Uncanny Harry, Loop and Mix. Also this one that is just incredible, as well as this snow scooter driving through the snow that looks absolutely insane. It generates five second shots with realistic smooth motion, cinematography, and drama. They added the drama in here. Don't say this to my AI girlfriend. You can even dream with consistent characters, something most AI creators love because we're going to have the same creator over many different scenes, right? I haven't even stopped to reflect over just how beautiful these shots really are. Just look at this one, for example, going through a old school type building with fire and paper flying everywhere. It also goes through the current limitations, like for example, this beautiful Porsche 911 uh, morphing into itself in a sense, movement where this dog's legs just fly in above the ground a little bit. You have the text here that is obviously very hard to do for most and Janice style is Janice. There's also a to be continued that has this, I don't understand. It's literally a 3D warping through space camera motion type thing. Also, this looks like video to video that they aren't having right now. And this anime type maker as well might be video to video. I just can't wait to get my hands and try this. And it's completely free currently. So we're just going to click on try now. Sign in with Google. A bit of a warning text in the top that due to high demand requests will be queued. So I mean, everybody's blowing up about this right now. And the main competitor we're going to test it with is obviously Sora. My second favorite free AI generator is Hyper AI. So we are going to test that as well. Since we actually can't test Sora, Sora, I really want to take the prompts here and see if we can take this prompt and kind of compete with Sora to check if it's actually better. Let's jump into Luma Labs with the same prompt as Sora. I'm not going to add this enhance prompt because I think it will add a bunch of other words, but let's generate in Q one minute. Okay, that's fair. I'll do the exact same in hyper as well, which is currently completely free. Obviously, they have an upgrade as well for unlimited generations and stuff. Let's create. So we got our first generation here of a stylist woman walking down a street in Tokyo. There is definitely some blurring or effects going on. She does have a letter jacket and a red dress two purses and the face definitely looks a lot like it's some 3d video game people in the background as well but in the sense of people actually walking and everything looking good with the motion of the camera is really good comparing it to sora here you can definitely see a lot more detail in the face, the glasses and the reflection of the glasses as well. And uh, yeah, looking into Hyper here, a free alternative that only generates two seconds, unfortunately, you can see that this is what we got. So that was just the first test. <laughs> Let's keep going. I want to take this exact same prompt here as well of this mammoth that they did with Sora. Pop it into Luma Labs. This time I'm going to click on the enhanced prompt. Maybe it actually helps a lot. Post, pull the same prompt into Hyper as well. And it does seem like they actually added a four second duration here. So let's try that. And why not bring Runway ML into the mix? Another great video generator that usually does better with image to video. But hey, let's test it out. Here is the second example that we got from Luma Labs. It definitely has some sort of 3D character type element like GTA San Andreas type vibes. I do really like the background here. 
It also says several giant woolly mammoths where you do see a little bit of the first or two woolly mammoths, one in the front here. It adheres to the prompt kind of, but hmm, when we look at the comparison to Sora, you can kind of see more wrinkles on the snout here, the tusks having all this beautiful detail as well as the hair around the ears and the snow. So is it a real comparison? I don't know. Here we got the generation from Runway ML that looks like this. Definitely having some struggles with the leg here. And uh, I don't know, it depends on really what, <laughs> what is this over here? Brother got morphed, just creating new animals and tusks out of nowhere. Here is the hyper generation. Let's take a look. It's, um, what can I say, stylized? It's really hard to say. What do you think? Like since we can't access Sora, right? Which one would you use? The Dream Machine Mammoth right here that does have quite nice leg movement, camera movement, even snow and nice background. The Runway Generation that has a little bit too many tusks and warped legs. Or the Hyper Generation, kind of hard to tell, right? I definitely do like this movement here from Luma Labs a lot more, but we gotta test this other feature and that's the image to video. So I can upload an image right here. I'm gonna use this image of a man. This article was written 100% by AI and the craziest part is that I made a hundred of them in just three steps. Step number one is I went to seowriting.ai and I created a free account. Step number two, I went to the bulk article generation. Then I entered my keywords in here. To generate a title, I just clicked on this generate button. And to generate more keywords, I just click on generate NLP. As you can see, it's just providing all of this for me. Step number three is I changed the core settings because I want a different friendly tone of voice, point of view. I selected what media I wanted, the structure with all these tables and even YouTube videos embedded into the blog article. And I made sure to click on this deep web plus citation, which scrapes 100 plus websites for statistical data. I connected my WordPress website and said, publish when you're finished. I never even knew that AI could create amazing articles like this without me having to do a lot of the writing or even just finding the images, beautiful tables, even providing the source link. I just can't believe how easy AI blogging is. So check out SEO writing AI by clicking link in the description down below. Thank you so much to SEO writing for sponsoring this section of the video. And that's the image to video. So I can upload an image right here. I'm going to use this image of a man that has a prompt addiction with a prompt man sitting in a room with screens flashing and flickering, zooming in closer. Let's take a look. I'm going to do the same with hyper, same image, exact same prompt, same in runway. We do also have Pika labs that I kind of want to try another free AI video generator, pop the image in pop the prompt in seems like we got more features here as well now let's check out the next generation oh my god i love this camera movement it's just so smooth i'm not sure about him going into the head or something like that but that is prompting on our end i really love how this shot is made especially just how smooth the generation is yeah i think image to video is better because it has something to work with you know here is the runway generation, which also actually looks really good. I kind of like runway for its image to video, especially if this was a scene of a movie, like this could actually be used, right? Checking out Pika as well. It's definitely usable, I think. I like how it's flickering a little bit more. It seems a little bit more active. Here is the hyper generation. Whoa, it's turning really grainy. For some reason, I only clicked on two seconds on this one. But yeah, which one would you choose? Pika is for sure the lowest because it's so blurry. And then maybe Hyper because it turns so grainy. I really like the zooming effect with Dream Machine. And this tells us kind of what you can do with it as well. But maybe my favorite is the runway ML generation. Kind of hard to tell on different purposes. We don't really have a comparison for Sora here. For the next comparison to try to emulate Sora, let's try to generate an image like this. 
<laughs> Chat GPT, you got crazy on this one. Brother sacrificing his son? Hey, there's nothing wrong about demon worship. <laughs> this is the image we got. It went from really cute to just sacrificing his child to Satan. Let's turn it into a video. <laughs> I can't prompt that. Let's just try again. There we go. Oh, so cute. Cute mythical creature playing with a glowing orb next to a melting candle. I'll keep the enhanced prompt on. And you already know the drill by now. Upload to all the other free AI image generators. It's pretty crazy that we can actually do all this for free. Up to a certain limit, of course. Runway, Pika. While we're waiting, I want to explain kind of what Luma Labs was before they created the Dream Machine. And that was, they was a 3D capture software. So you could capture yourself, you could capture objects around the world. And I think maybe that's how they generate the images or videos as well, that they're really good at capturing the 3D world and then creating a space around it that then gets turned into a video. We haven't really gotten even close to this level of detail that they have showed on the homepage here. So I'm not sure why this is so much better. Like look at this robot here with all this shine and so smooth. Anyways, back to our cute mythical creature. There we go. We literally just got the image that is kind of moving around in space face like it's me in PowerPoint with an end. On to the next one. Runway gave us this that I kind of like for the first one second and then it's kind of gives it a kind of a character though. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Okay, I managed to do the hyper one. Let's try it out. Here is hyper that is just going a little bit up and down and that's about it. Not really that much going on. There's also a bunch of grain or sharpness that is coming in. Do you see that? Pika Labs looks like this. That is not terrible until it closes his eyes and then started to worship Satan. <laughs> this is really funny. Okay, we just got to try one more. Robot with a camera in a room with neon lights. No image this time, just a text prompt. So this was the Luma generation here. I definitely think that I should have done more prompting that is tips that I do for ChatGPT as well. Like for example, holding it in his hands. While we look at the next generation, so I did the exact same prompt in Runway as well. Here you go. This is also really cool. I really like this one. Neon lights in his arm. He's not holding a camera though, but he might interpret it as he is a camera, that his eyes are a camera. And then we have Pika here coming in with a really sexy generation, to be honest. And I like the flash of a light in his eyes at the end there, as well as the pink reflections on his head. Then we got Hyper with a two second generation. And there is a little bit of a camera in the background, I think. The neon room looks really cool. And the robot also looks cool. But not so much movement. Two seconds. So I think actually Luma did the worst in this part. So in the background, I prompted a robot holding a big camera in his hands like he's a videographer. In the foreground, a girl influencer dancing in a big bright white room. And this is what we got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Brother is filming the, videogra the videographer, filming the other videographer, not the influencer. And there's another influencer popping up to the left of the screen as well. Can we really compare this to Sora? Uh, no. Is it a really cool tool that we now can use? Yes. Am I probably going to use this? Yes. Are the other tools still pretty good though? In my AI Andy tools list, I'll rank it the same as Runway, which is a five star, which means I use it as the best AI video generator for great camera movement. Is that fair? And if you want my list of best ranked tools that isn't upvoted by bots, just curated by me, find it in the link in the description. Also check out our amazing sponsors down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.